ship foundered. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing awesome today. Finally got the Conde, the tier 11 super ship, whatever you call it, French, I would say maybe fast uh, attack cruiser, whatever it is, kind of like an oversized Henry, but really, really, I would say OP awesome ship. Okay, I'm, I rarely say OP, but man, this thing is powerful in its sense. But anyways, before we begin, hey, appreciate all the subscribers, all the supporters of the channel, anything you guys can do to help us grow on our way to 700 subscribers, like bell button below, subscribe, comment on anything you like, dislike, what we can do to get better, because we're always learning and having a great time doing it at the same time. So anyways, the Conde. So this is a, I guess you could say, uh, in my opinion, the Henry that's been kind of added extra guns and boosted up a little bit. So HP is about 63,000. Speed is very good. Uh, the armor is actually okay. I mean, I just took a shot right there, but I can always heal it. You know, that's pretty incredible, the, the heals that you get with it, um, as well as the, you know, it's 30 millimeters and 25 millimeters all baked around it, something around those numbers right there. So anything that's, you know, 32 millimeters higher, you know, with all the secondaries and HE pins and everything, will definitely melt this thing. However, what you're seeing this play style I'm doing right now is more of this kind of attack cruiser hit and run kind of style gunboating and look at 13,000 damage because why we have an extra set of guns the Henry normally only comes with about nine exactly nine but this has 12 so I'm kind of like a I want to say kind of like a Montana Vermont in cruiser format because I got 12 guns of heavy hitting shells that are not only pen cruisers but pen battleships so yes Remember that this thing pens battleships like, like it's it's uh, you know a normal day day in day out kind of job, which is phenomenal. I mean, watch this hand over here. We're gonna fire 12 uh, shells of AP at it. These guns are 240 millimeters. Great pen angles. Great whatever it is because they just seem to hit like a truck. Boom! Look at that. Boom. Ah, oh, bad example. My bad. I don't remember when I took the shots on these battleships, but dude, I keep firing at the Hanover, and dude, I'm just doing some significant damage. I'm going, is this normal? You know, for a cruiser to be doing this kind of significant damage right there. We took 6,000 off the Hanover right there. Pretty incredible how much power it is, but really the bread and butter is the cruisers on cruisers kind of action here. And it's pretty, pretty strong. Now look at look at the full armament. Oh, this is very juicy right here. When you see a broadside Zal like this, man. Is it just a gift wrapped in a bow? And man, 8,400 damage, but that's okay. We hit the reload booster, one of the great perks of having this thing. And this thing, oh my goodness, just destroying guns and just wrecking shop. And look, 12 shells coming out every single eight seconds. This is a scary thing to deal with, not only for the AP, but HE as well. If you don't know, French HE is also very, very significant in burning down ships as well. If you have a Henry, if you have the Marceau, if Bear, start fires like its job every single day. Now watch this here. Great shot, broadside Moskva, very bad deal. When you got a Moskva broadside, you got to take the shot and boom, there it is. The Citadel City, two Citadels right there taking tons and tons of damage. This thing is rocking. And look, we got another broadside's out. Going to go ahead and fire 
Just the front guns alone are just eight of them. That's still a plenty to do that kind of damage right there. Two more Citadels. It is Citadel City in this thing. It is oh, so, so powerful. So much fun. So rewarding, if you will. So let's talk about some of the um, other things. The concealment is decent. It's for what a, a cruiser can do. You can get it down. I think the base was roughly starting around 16-ish, I think, uh, for the stats. But we're at maybe 14. I have to take a look at that. I got it pulled up right here. Yeah, initially the concealment visibility is, yeah, it starts at 16.1 surface detect, but once you start building into it, you can get it really down to, I think, about maybe you know, 14, 13 range. So you can actually drive in pretty well. Uh, not bad. And boom! Citadel City, 31,000 damage. Moscow goes. Ouch. Oof. Owie. And now we get another follow on shot right there. And this might be the breath taker. And bam, RIP back to Porty. And that splash one for us with the Conde. Now, popping hills, reload booster, speed boost, hydro acoustics, AP. You got the also the, the, uh, the, the, what's it called? The burst mode, if you will, where you're just shooting two salvos in sequential. Uh, I mean, this thing is just loaded full of gimmicks. It's got just so many things you can work with. And uh, this is the follow on shot. Ooh, not, and we hit the reload booster, getting that fast reload because this is why we do these follow on shots. And boom, splash two, RIP back to Porter. He is down, and we have secured the eastern flank. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Charlie, excuse me. And this is really just with ranked battles. I mean, just imagine, I'm sorry, clan battles. Imagine this thing in ranked, which is coming up uh, right now. Actually, it's going on right now. Imagine playing these super ships uh, in, uh, you know, not only clan battles are ranked, but these things are devastating in uh, randoms as well. Uh, if you haven't noticed, like, that's why they had to limit this. In clan battles, only two condes per team. Otherwise, this thing would be ridiculously overpowered uh, with the amount of condes in there. But my thoughts on it are really, it's definitely worth it. It's got the concealment, it's got the guns, it's got the, the extra perks, all the burst fire modes and everything that you need to have to really get those citadels on target. But let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you liked the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Definitely recommend it. It is costly though, so you got to save up for it. But we'll talk to you guys soon and I hope you guys stay safe. Cheers.